All right, what's going on? Back for episode 10. And just taking a look around to see where I left off if I was done taking whatever actions I needed to for this last turn or not. And I believe, I believe I was because I had issued attack orders from a bunch of troops into some different Turkish provinces and public order seems to be good everywhere. Got 24,000 florins in the bank, so we'll see what happens with our economy after I end this turn. Given the recruitment that I've got going on and the constru uh, construction that's going on. <clears throat> Poland. I'm quite sure I saw that Poland and France were at war earlier in the campaign. Okay, increased zeal for Catholics in Spain. That's good. Alright, so there was a famine in Egypt. Just going to check on the yeah, public order is still good there. Even with, even with all that. All right, so the French do have a crusade going to Constantinople, and geez, it's crazy how fast they're getting points. I wonder what happened to all the crusade objectives and wow it's already down to what two four six seven there's only eight factions left so there's six six factions eliminated so quick check on public order all right so we got Trebizond in Georgia under siege last for a year last for a year not going to bother assaulting the walls because both of these are castles and I'm assuming that you'll lose more troops when you assault a castle compared to other types of fortifications. I, I would think it's reasonable to assume that they account for the level of a um, fortification when you're doing auto resolves some of these weaker troops out of my king's army we not have in here use some archers some spears these guys are just about full cavalry archers where do I see them about some good spears Alright, so our king's got a decent army. I actually don't even know how necessary it is for me to do stuff like that. Um, as far as reshuffling guys into my king's army, because they might just get shuffled back out when there's a major battle. But in case that's not the case, I'm going to do that. Check construction around here. And it's, uh, so I, I increased 4,000 florins, so that's good from the last turn. So that means that I can continue recruitment and construction without too much concern, without any concern for now. Jacopolis, okay. I'll keep that up there. And in fact, 
get some new new tier of units over here. Places like Leon and Navarre and Aragon. Let's see. We'll just go for mostly next tier guys. Crossbowmen. Chivalry Sergeants. I wonder if you need the Metal Smith to get these guys. Should be pretty good for recruitment for now. And I can get Caravals now. Interesting. They have low, low support costs too. That's interesting. I wonder why their upkeep is lower despite their good stats. So, as far as construction goes, Lyon is a pretty good tier settlement. I think it's one of my main, what do you call them? One of the main um, income earning areas that we have. So we'll get the chancellery there because I think what the chancellery does is it, it allows a new title that gives a lord acumen and having acumen on a guy in a high earning place is definitely a benefit. At this point I'm kind of just building whatever just to keep boosting my income. I can already produce decent quality troops in a lot of my provinces so... complex should be good some settlements I don't necessarily need to be paying much attention to in fact I'll, I'll save some money on doing more construction of course I did that after I basically queued up stuff in most provinces but Check our naval situation. So we got three ships here. Uncontested waters up that way. French are dominating their area. The Italians have some ships in areas that we don't want them to, but nothing too threatening. And I still cannot find the Byzantines. wandering around see if we can find them I mean they have Cypress so there's that but in fact I wonder if this is their only province they have left let me I'm gonna send my emissary over to Rhodes instead of Cyprus and then potentially Crete as well because I wonder if the Turks just wiped the Byzantines off of the landmass, the main, you know, mainland, and if they've got them stuck on these islands, and that's why their king is in Cyprus. They don't have any boats out here for him to travel elsewhere, and they've got a bunch of emissaries all stuck on this one province. It seems like a weird place for them to be. So we will work on solving that mystery. Now, now that we've got what is this? Georgia under control and Trebizond is under siege. I figure we might as well push into Anatolia. What kind of troops do they have? Pretty average force there. So let's just say F it and get in here. I want to make sure that I maintain loyalty in Lesser Armenia. 
And I might even be able to do that with sending all these troops out. Yep. No problem there. Got some guys we can move to the front from Edessa. In fact, they might. Let's move them into Syria. Because Syria needs public order. And Rum, we can send some troops out of as well. Alright, so that's a fair amount of troops to send out. Let's see these gentlemen can hang in tight. And this way we've got we've got places under siege and there's nowhere that we can there's nowhere that we can uh, what am I trying to say here? Be attacked at that we do not have protected. Send a couple guys forward out of Armenia in case the Turks send reinforcements from Constantinople to Trebizond. I think I've got a pretty powerful force in Anatolia. And in one or two more turns, I will start grabbing troops and sending them forward. Okay, I'm trying not to do too much of this uh, little manual unit um, management <clears throat> oh boy there, there they come this might be a loss yeah I'm gonna back up I could attack here, but the general's got two stars on mine, and they've got a lot more troops than me, 500 more troops than me. Mm. That's okay. Holy hell. All right, this seems to be another one that I'm going to want to abandon. These are all, just about all fresh troops. And geez, what are they at? They've got like 250% of the amount of troops that we have. Although I've got a solid general there, I'm not going to fight that. The, the numbers game is bad, and also I really don't want to risk losing this, this general when he's got that amount of command. So we'll back out. Take Anatolia. Also crusading against the Turkish, so that's good. We just spent a lot of money and uh, did not did not end up losing too much. So let's see. Now it's time to redistribute some of these troops. So we'll send a strong. Let's see. We'll keep our our king with a strong general. Okay, so they, the Byzantines do have roads. Let's see if they control Crete as well. Hmm. Might as well expand our shipping lanes a little forward and see if that earns us some more income. And now it's time to move troops out. So this is going to take a little bit of time, but we are now in a situation where the Turks have a pretty good sized force. They've got like 8,000 troops, I would say along our border. And although we have a lot of individual stacks, a lot of our troops are pretty beat up. And so that's something that we, we want to get to reinforcing some of these areas. So I'll leave one squad of troops left here. 
And in fact, if I can send troops into a province like Anatolia, then I can shift some of the troops from Anatolia into, what do you call it? Into Rum. So I got, I got three provinces that I want to protect here on this bordering area. Troops to be moved out of Arabia. Still a good public order, so we'll move them to Anatolia as well. Our troops from Sinai. So we haven't been doing recruitment around many of these places. Zoom out some more so I can scroll a map easier. Okay. Some siege weapons moved. These catapults I've been wanting to get forward for a little while. Portugal is ever, ever the headache as far as public order goes. Leon is better than it was. Let's see what happens if I do that. 147, okay. Valencia. Alright, so we got a lot of troops going into Anatolia. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-six squads of full troops, and what the full stack is. 16. So, about a stack and a half worth of troops entering there. And the reason I'm counting that out is because I'm kind of doing a numbers game in my mind of what can I move into Rum to reinforce there so that they don't attack. I think that's a reasonable amount of troops. Did I send someone? Okay, yeah, I did. A, I wanted to make sure that I sent a strong general to reinforce as well. They just got so many guys in there. Holy hell. <clears throat> in fact, that is a good reminder to make sure that I've still got recruitment queued up in a lot of these places. Get good, good crossbows in Sinai. Arbalists, Avis. And earlier in the campaign, I had mentioned when I when I was upgrading to a Bowyer's Guild and a Bowyer's Workshop, there was no benefit to that earlier, as far as I wasn't unlocking any type of new units or whatnot. But you can see now that the era has changed; those those facilities actually serve a purpose now. So it's kind of a little bit of an investment. This guy doing here. Or if it was a prince that came to age and I hadn't realized it in the notifications. Okay, so this bishop can move forward. Send him to Syria. 
Well, this guy. Let's see, Algeria. 87%, 87%. Yeah, most of these other places, I'm gonna leave my bishops where they are. <clears throat> Check diplomacy again, so you pay attention to it. So, Italians and the English are at war with the French, and the Turks are at war with the French, mostly because of the Crusade, I would guess. So this has just been the kind of the same thing going on all campaign, where it's just me and the French at war with a bunch of people. And, um... Just ever-expanding. Alright. Should be good for that turn. Seems like the computers are doing a lot more thinking these, this point in the game. I'm not sure if it's because I have more vision of the map, or if there's just so many units that the remaining factions have uh, recruited. Okay, time to consolidate here. Okay, so let's see what happened there. What is going on? You don't want me to... Okay, so that should be fine. This will fall soon. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Let's say one more turn of recruitment would be good, and then we'll send some more reinforcements. So I'm under the impression that there cannot be crusades called on any of the provinces that I hold unless I'm excommunicated. Although I do have regions that could be considered like a, a holy land or something of those sorts. So one thing I'm curious about, I, I didn't, I'm not sure if I checked this earlier in the game, but I'm curious to know if, is it because I'm holding Antioch and Tripoli and Palestine and some of these places that the crusade objectives went away for the other Catholic factions. wonder if that only... wonder if that only applies if they're held by the Turks or the Egyptians or one of the Islamic um, factions. Some of these places I can just spend money, just because. All right, so Navarre, we got a, what do you call it? Citadel. And, do any of these allow me to get any specific new type of unit? Doesn't seem so. So what I'll do is let's go for a metalsmith workshop. Castile. Haven't really been using it for troop production so much. Dockyard allows us to recruit carvels, so I guess I'll go for that. It's mostly my sh ship production province. All right, public.
public order is good. Hmm. Thinking I go for Georgia again. Although if I pull troops out of Armenia, they can attack there from Trebizond. These two, these two provinces, well, mostly Trebizond being such a big province, it has access to basically anywhere I want to move troops out of. And I can't quite tell if I have them outnumbered in this area. What I'll do is I'll wait till the next, the next um, movement of troops or reinforcements. I'll send all of them in into, into Anatolia and then I'll attack out of there. Try to take Trebizond. And I'll just leave holding forces in Anatolia and Armenia. I think that I think that makes sense. of having ships in an area like the Atlantic Ocean. Hmm. Oh, these guys can move two, two tiles at a time. Interesting. Okay focus here so starting to get some higher tier units out in the field Queue up like three turns worth of guys. Some more siege. So you may notice some of these provinces, I'm only queuing up two guys at a time. And the reason I'm doing that is just for the convenience of, um, if I'm gonna move everybody at once, well, <laughs> now that I'm thinking about that, I'm like, well, okay, for money's sake, I'll, I'll leave it at that. 
I think my logic was flawed. I was originally thinking if I if I have provinces that are uh, further away, I'm not going to be able to get the same amount of turns worth of troops to the same provinces as the ones that have access to the front line through ports and whatnot. So like Arabia, they've got to move through a land province before they can get to a port. The same thing would, would be the case if I was recruiting from Syria. I'm not, but... Um, that's originally what I was thinking, but if I'm moving them all on one turn, it doesn't really make sense. Might as well do the full training. But my income is still not amazing. I've been somewhat hovering around the 20, 25-ish thousand range. And we're starting to amass a good amount of guys. So I just moved a decent amount of troops into um, Anatolia. I'll leave this general, my king, these reinforcements, and another full stack of units. I think these guys should be good. I'll leave one more decent general with them. And then these men, we're going to send all these guys to attempt to take Trebizond. And I'm going to risk the loyalty low loyalty in rum for now. Okay. construction done in some of these places. Make sure that we're keeping public order taken care of. I feel like this is a pretty fickle place so I can only move a guy out of there at a time. Well, maybe not so much anymore. Took it down to 149. 135, okay. Alright, so that should be good. I think we've got enough enough troops in Anatolia that they'll be deterred from attacking there. And um, they don't have enough in Georgia that they can attack Armenia. They don't have act, land access to Rome, so. See, see how they react. I'm guessing they'll probably send reinforcements from Nicaea into Trebizond. They did, but they they abandoned it. Okay, interesting. So we're still doing good financially, even with all the uh, construction and whatnot. In hindsight, oh wow, look at that. So the French have Constantinople. They're about to lose it, but looks like the Crusade was successful. And the funny thing is, I probably might be able to save them, or save this province for them, but I don't have control over Trebizond, and this is just like a, it's a strategically important place. Oh wow, that's close. Those troop, move, troop movements, we've got good public order. Portugal, of course, is having problems. Where else? Move these guys over here. And in fact, you know what? I did want to keep a large force, so this has an unnecessary amount of archers. Let's see. If we move them into Portugal, that's good for there. Maybe we need a town guard. Take a look at Cordoba. 
Yeah, look at that trade income now. My trade incomes were all sub 100 before I had moved my ships around, but that has since changed, so it's probably worth me investing into merchant skills and things like that. All right, and then after one more turn, oh no, two more turns of recruitment, I'll do some troop movement. Looks like the French are starting to get some boats out here as well. Hmm. All right, well, Man, they really have things on lockdown over here. Let's, let's keep wandering around and see what we find with our uh, our bishops. This place is gonna last for one year. Anatolia we have control over, so it's time to get forts. Actually, I'll get a port here to start. Although, wait, I'm already able to move troops into here, so I guess I don't need the port right away. I guess because I have ships on the, on the, um, oh, hello, okay, this is something I need to keep an eye out for. 113, this guy has three stars, but what's it, 123, okay, so I should be able to win that since my, my, um, what do you call it? Captain is better than theirs. So I need to give a title out over here. There you go. Arbalisters with four acumen. And Duke of Anatolia. I get him hold up in the in the castle. <clears throat> Part of me wants to attack out of here, but they might just decide that they're going to leave Constantinople and wipe out my force here. So I'll hold ground for now until I have secured Trebizond, and then I think I'll do a combined assault on Nicaea. If I wait two more turns, I'll have a full other wave of reinforcements coming. It's kind of funny to see the Danes still in the their starting situation. I'm assuming they might have control over. Interesting. Defeat. I don't know how the hell that happened. If my guy had three stars and he had better stats on his ships. Okay, well that means that I can't move my Reinforcements the way I thought I could. Does he have two ships there now? It looks like only one. I guess there is some some chance involved in that. Let's see if we can advance our navy. In fact, this guy can move pretty far. Let's move this carvel. Start getting him on the move out in that direction, so... Wow, they abandoned the province altogether. Am I at war with them? No, I'm not. Right, the Pope wanted us to cease hostilities. Hmm. troop movement and I'm actually gonna move some ships forward
Yeah, I guess I will send, send him all the way up to the multi-channel. What I'll do is I'll move my caravel that I produce over in Portugal all the way up to this um, Eastern Mediterranean region. I, I do not think that these guys are going to be able to deal with the caravel. And then I'll have more secure access to these Middle Eastern provinces. Okay, let's check our sieges. So, <clears throat> Trebizond is about to fall. And Georgia is about to fall in two years, two or three years. The Turks have their, have Constantinople back and a lot of troops sitting on standby. And now I'm bordering with the Italians, so got to pay attention here. Forty-one minutes. Getting close to the end of this episode. Uh oh. <laughs> oh boy. Here comes the Inquisition. Gosh, do I build assassins and try to kill these guys? I'm not sure what the chances of doing that successfully are. Alright. Got Trebizond, the richest faction. Although I actually don't know how they. Where's this one? Farm income in France and the Holy Roman Empire is decreased. Okay. The Poles reappear. Interesting. Oh boy, okay, that is a thing. Jeez, uh, start leaving more reinforcements on the, uh, on the border here. I think that's probably a reasonable thing to do. I think I'm gonna leave a full, full another stack. So that's six. Let's see, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That should be good. That should be enough troops. And here we go. So this is the, I just finished constructing the, um, what do you call it, the chancellery? Chancellery, yep. And that gave us the keeper of the privy seal title. So we'll give that to the same guy. Get his acumen up again. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Can't do that. Um, looks like I need to send someone else or recruit someone else here. So we'll recruit another thing of troops. We'll, I mean, we just get peasants. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that because I do want to have someone with decent acumen if I'm going to be giving it to somebody. Oh my lord. He actually killed the guy. That was that was a, not an intended pun. Um, let's see, this guy has good, decent piety, so hopefully the Inquisitor won't kill him. <laughs> let's see. What a brutal time in, the, in uh, history, this medieval period. It really was something else. So, we've got public issues, public order issues all over the place here. Not all over the place, but a good couple provinces. Okay, so that is that for reinforcing um, Aragon. Start sending the rest of these guys up towards 
Okay, so we got contested waters thing going on in Anatolia, so I can't reinforce there as easily. But we'll just sh ship these guys on over. And a lot of cavalry archers. <clears throat> Alright, so... Focus for the next episode is make sure that I've got this border secured. Hopefully the French are able to maintain Aquitaine. Um, get my new lords assigned in Castile and Leon. Keep an eye on this Inquisitor and see what he ends up... Oh my god. <laughs> I hope this doesn't correlate to his potential to kill somebody. Or the likelihood that he's going to kill somebody. Um, just by chance. But the Inquisition is is occurring, so that's just something we're going to have to deal with. I'm, I'm contemplating building assassins and trying to kill that guy. But I think if I get caught, I might go to war with the Papacy. I don't know how that works exactly. Tradable goods here, so we'll do that. Brothel's how you get spies, okay. And that, yeah, I guess you need an inn. Can turn this into our, our agent recruiting place. Alright, anyways, I think that should be good. Um, I did just about all the troop movement I wanted. We got ourselves defended against the um, Turks. And pro I'll probably start up some more recruitment at the start of the next episode and get another wave of guys over here to join this war against the Turks. I've got enough I got enough armies now that Georgia is secured that I can attack um, Nicaea and potentially Constantinople at the same time while keeping public order in Anatolia and Trebizond. So that's uh, some stuff to look forward to in the next episode. Anyways, that's episode 10. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.